Hi, this is Jeff from Aqua Products, and in this video, I'm going to help you get started with the Aquabot Fury. Now, why do we have this pool cleaner in the water? Well, we literally just took it out of the box, so we needed to soften up the sponges. You don't have to do this every single time. Probably a good chance you won't have to do it all the time at all. Um, but the sponges were a little bit hard, so we just let it sit here for about 10 minutes, uh, soften them up. Um, but we're ready to go. We're ready to show you how to get this thing started. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get the cleaner out of the pool and you're going to move the power supply about 12 feet from the edge of the pool. But don't plug it in yet. Next, you're going to look for the end of the cable. And you're going to find this plug. And this plug, it's plugged into the power supply. Before we get this into the pool, we just want to make sure that the floating handle is in a diagonal fashion. A uh, factory default right out of the box is most likely going to be across the body straight. Uh, so how do we angle it up? So you'll notice there's two buttons on the top. And those will help you get the handle in the right angle. So just press them both down, or one on each side you can move it and lock it. After every cleaning cycle, we recommend that you just reverse the angle. Real easy. Now it's time to submerge cleaner in the pool. So, grab the handle, start to get this thing in the water. What we're looking for is water bubbles to come out. Uh, water bubbles could affect the buoyancy of the cleaner, possibly the performance. So as soon as we get all of those out, Rotate it down, wherever you want. Let it sink to the bottom and start to put some of the cable in. Now you don't want all the cable in. Even though this cleaner does come with a swivel to help prevent cable tangling, uh, you only need as much as you think you can do for the pull. So about just the corners are good. And that will also help prevent any further possible tangling that could occur. So I think that's probably about good. And at this point, we're going to plug the power supply into the GFCI outlet. So the first thing you'll notice is that the power supply on the Fury automatically comes on. It's a standard power supply. It's going to shut off automatically. But you don't need to turn it on when you plug it in. If you do see it blinking a little and you've been running the cleaner, just hit the power supply on off button, it should come right on. So now that we see that the pool cleaner is cleaning, doing the walls, it's going to eventually do the floor. Uh, one of two things are going to happen. One is that the power supply has run its cycle. Second will be that you need to remove the cleaner before the cycle has ended. Weather related, maybe you want to use the pool. In any case, we need to shut off the power supply. So, come over to the power supply. Just hit the on off button. The light should blink for literally half a second. And that's good. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to remove the floating cable from the power supply so there's no power going to the cleaner. Removing the cleaner. Gently pull on the floating cable. Okay. Now, when you get to the swivel, you don't want to grab the swivel, yank that thing right out. It's going to damage the cable. So what you want to do is you want to grab the cable anywhere between the swivel and the cleaner. That's perfect right there. So bring it to the surface, grab the handle, and what you want to do is you want to just pull it up and start to let any excess water that's inside the cleaner drain back into the pool. And all the debris is inside the filter bag so you don't have to worry about it going back into what you just cleaned. And when you got a lot of water out, pull it to the side and that's it. 